LinkedIn is the number one network for professionals and it is the place to see and be seen. Mastering LinkedIn will open doors to your success. I'm Felix and I've been on LinkedIn for over 12 years. I have built over 13,000 meaningful connections all around the world without taking a single flight to meet them. I'm here to help you achieve LinkedIn success in this video. Today, we'll be talking about how to create an attractive work experience segment for your profile. One of the biggest mistakes many make when completing this section is to translate their resumes wholesale. While both offer the same categories, your LinkedIn profile is a full-bodied personal branding vehicle. It is your chance to tell your career story in an interesting way and here are three key differences to understand before you get started. First off, a resume is more succinct. Your professional experience section, on the other hand, can contain all the details and context that you cut from your resume in order to get it on to fit in one page. You should take this chance to give back stories that cannot normally be incorporated in your resume. It is a place to share. The caveat here, of course, is to think twice about the details you're sharing and make sure it's not overly personal. Second, the professional experience section is less tailored. Your resume is a tool to sell yourself to your prospective employer and you should speak directly to the job requirements of the role you're applying for. On LinkedIn, however, being too finely tuned might mean you'll miss out on opportunities. Leveraging your profile with only specific people or topics in mind will limit you and your network will start to stagnate as you run the risk of not being seen for anything else. Thirdly, the tone for a resume is more formal. The purpose of a resume is to grab your prospective employer's eyes with as few words as possible as your end game is to get an interview where you share more. Being a social media platform primarily, LinkedIn profile takes a more conventional tone as it invites your network to look at you as a professional instead of condensing you into a series of achievements. A personable, passionate profile is much more attractive than one that is expanded from your point of your resume. I'm sure the above gives you enough reason to hold off on the copy pasting. The experience section of your profile is meant to increase your professional visibility and presenting too narrow a view of yourself limits the number of people that you can relate to. Follow the three tips uh, below to expand your resume into an attractive experience section on your profile. Tip one, change the tone. Look at the point forms that you have listed, the past experiences in on your resume and imagine how you would relate these points in a conversation. Don't just talk about what you do, Pepper it with details that humanizes you. Share why you love doing it. Stop harping on the years of experiences you have and talk about how you got started and how you got to today. Bring in personal philosophies, your inspirations and motivations, and the type of teams you enjoy working with. The most important thing is to convey your passion for your work and not to list what you have worked as. Tip number two, make it quantifiable. On your resume, information is taken at face value until it is time for your interview. On LinkedIn, however, you get to skip ahead and back up your claims. A simple way to approach this is to utilize the PAR approach, which stands for Problem, Action, Result. For example, in this situation, P, I took this action, A, which led to this result, R. Write facts and achievements about yourself that are verifiable with skills, endorsement, and recommendations. Make sure what you put down is coherent with the persona you have created for yourself. If you say you love to write, make sure your profile's publication section is updated with new articles. Show, don't tell. Tip number three, include more experiences. Besides expanding on your listed job experiences, you should also include more job history that you might have trimmed out of your resume. While you do not need to spend too much time writing full stories for all of them, you can pick relevant aspects to build a timeline of your professional journey. Make sure each experience you list down reinforces your next role and state new roles and responsibilities you have undertaken as you advance. What this does is to show your prospective employers how you have matured and it offers a chance to lay down your foundational skills which would have certainly been cut in your resume for more eye-catching ones. While resumes are tailored to specific jobs, your experience section expands upon it to cater for a general job search. It is complementary to your resume and provides a more expansive look at your qualifications. More importantly, it is deeply personal and it helps your potential employers to see you as a person and not just another nameless profile. 
If you would like more tips and advice from us, click on the link below to join our tribe, where you and your peers can discuss the points above and value add to each other in your pursuit of a remote career. Of course, I will also be sharing more day-to-day -day tips to bring you towards success. I will see you there.